I'm Dr. John. This is your Maintenance Minute. I'm getting a lot of phone calls, emails, and text messages on the subject, and I think it's an area that a lot of us are making a classic mistake. It's on the issue of adjusting min-max. Here's what tends to happen whenever we see a problem with the supply chain. Our knee-jerk reaction is to increase min-max. Let's face it, if you have a min of two and a max of four and there's a stock out or you're having trouble getting the part, what most people are likely to do is increase the min-max from 2 to 4 to 4 to 8, and, and that never seems to end. In fact, we never seem to bring min-max back down. You only increase min-max or decrease min-max when the usage change. When the usage changes, not for supply chain issues, but when the usage, the daily usage, either goes up or goes down. That's when you increase min-max, and there's all kinds of reasons why the usage, the daily usage would go up or the daily usage would go down. When you're having supply chain issues, problems with your supplier or just getting parts in general, that's when you introduce the subject and the methodology of safety stock. Now, look, I've written a lot about safety stock. I teach it in my storm classes, also teach it in the storm certification that you know, have no doubt have heard me talk about here on this Dr. John's Maintenance Minute. So learn a little bit about safety stock. That's what you use to adjust inventory for supply chain issues. You only change min-max when your daily usage changes, either goes up or goes down. Classic mistake. If you're making this, stop right now because you know better. If you tend to want to do this, really learn about safety stock. I think you'll find that it's very helpful. I'm Dr. John. This has been your Maintenance Minute.